it runs out. Weather is also impacting resources in Box Elder County. Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson explains how county leaders are now looking to the state and federal government for aid in fighting back flood waters. You know, we've already seen a lot of resources come in, but there's hope is that more will be on the way. This eight inch line pump, for example, was just set up today and it's helping push out water from this huge field here. And there's still a lot of work to be done before this very busy flood season is over. In this area just east of Tremont and today, the sights and sounds of some relief. It's about two and a half feet deep of water. Jeremy Hansen says he's been doing what he can on his property, but it's just not enough. With a cool down in the weather, he's hoping this will make an impact. We got alfalfa in these two fields here. We got a bunch of winter wheat that we've got a lot of water on. We don't know, you know, if it's going to survive or not. It's just one example of resources being stretched thin across Box Elder County. We've got enough damage that we easily meet our county required threshold to file a disaster or emergency uh, declaration. That's roughly $3 million in damage to public property so far. Most of that accounts for impacts to roads throughout the area. And then collectively between us and Cache County, we're expecting that we'll meet a state threshold that would allow the state to ask for federal disaster fund. Meantime, the help continues to roll in from around the state. About a dozen public works employees from Salt Lake County and city are here, giving the local guys some much needed time off. But for many home and property owners, everybody's basement's been flooded. Uh, some pumps going all the time. There doesn't seem to be much of a break. Yeah, this is once in a lifetime. I, you know, I've been out here for. 30 something years and this has been a lot of water. At one time, Box Elder County had about a dozen of these heavy duty pumps running. Right now they've got about 30,000 sandbags out in the community, another 20,000 ready for the next round. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.